What's up guys? RC RCG here. I'm here with my homie G Vision. We back again. If you watched the last video, which hopefully you did, we stopped by Hasport, picked up some mounts and a sub harness for a special project. Gonna be showing you what that is later on in this video. But for now, I need to get working on this ready, G. A few things I want to do to today. Gonna try to get all the wheel wells cleaned up. I know I said that previously, but we're gonna actually get it done today. And then I wanna fix the front part of this course port. Previously, I had somebody else. They just ended up cutting it off and then welding this part of the old core support down, like tapping it down with a hammer, made it all wavy. So I made a new pattern. I'm gonna get the metal cut out for this, and then I'm gonna weld these new sections in and smooth it all out so it looks nice and even, doesn't look like doo-doo like that. Gonna go ahead and get started on that work, and then later on we'll show you what the new project looks like. It's hot as hell out here already. Got this pieces cut off that I was showing you. All cut off, got it all prepped. Basically, this is what the top side used to look like. The OEM, it was just super wrinkled, it looked like shit. So if I replaced it, the new piece of metal would look like this. Or I'm not sure if I'd follow OEM how this is, or if I'm just gonna make it have like a radius right here. I think it'd be a little cleaner with a radius instead of going straight. And then turning and going straight. Just have a nice little radius there. I don't know. I might make another pattern to see. We'll see. That's ready to go though. That's prep ready to go. I just need to make these pieces. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Just more of a turn there. I don't know if I want to come up. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out real quick. So I made two patterns real quick. This was how OEM was originally on top on how the core support followed. This is the new idea that I was thinking of. Just have a little bit of a radius there. Here's the old one. What that would have looked like there i mean it looks it looks okay looks has oem look to it it's gonna look cleaner than what was on there before and then here's what i was thinking for it instead of doing the oem just kind of do that and then this will go over the edge like that to that i think i like this a little better plus on that side i'm gonna have the tsr battery tray mounted on that side so it leaves a little room for me to tighten the post down up here for the tsr battery tray to tighten down the battery so i'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one i'm gonna get two pieces of metal cut out trace it out extra piece of metal i got over there and then get get the metal trimmed up to fit perfectly how i want to do it in here and i'll get them tacked in place Went ahead and went with that second pattern with the curve on the end. I liked it better on the frame rail. So already the new piece is tacked in and looking way better than what was in there before. So once I smooth that out, all the welds and everything, it'll look way better. All right, so that's gonna be it for tonight. I pretty much got that one all welded in, all the welds all grinded down smooth. I'm pretty satisfied with the way that looks, so I'm gonna do the other side tomorrow, same way. That's what I want it to look like. I think it looks a little better than OEM. Got it pretty close, the body got to be able to finish smoothing the rest of that out. Ran out of time to show you guys a special project and what we picked up the Hasport mounts for. Just spin sweat over here like crazy because I'm just sweating my ass off. We'll show you that tomorrow. That's it for tonight, see you in the morning. Morning time, baby. Time to get back to work. Gonna work on the red EG today. 
First, I'm gonna get these potatoes peeled, make some breakfast for my bitches. That's how I do it, I take care of them. So I'm gonna peel these potatoes, make some bacon and eggs, and then we'll get to it. Building cars and making bacon, baby. Oh, what's up? <laughs> gotta start the morning off right with breakfast. Good old joiny joint right here. Fuck, gotta fuck get right to be right, baby. Oh, yeah. Breakfast was fire. Over at the garage now, going to start working on the EG again. Beautiful morning. Last night, did this side on the frame rail. Million times better than what it was before. Going to go ahead and cut out the other side and get that welded in right now. We're going to show you that special project that we're talking about. If you watched the Hasport video, you saw we picked up some mounts. So we're going to show you that project today. And later on, we're going to go hang out with my homie Ahmed. That'll be a future video. Get this metal work banged out real quick and get showing you that project. All right, so both sides are done now. It's about mid-afternoon right now, not even mid-afternoon. It's probably about one o'clock right now. Both sides are done. Started one side last night, finished the other side today. All the welding done, grinding done. Glad I did that because it looks a million times better. That shit's bothering the crap out of me. Now I could actually move forward. Gonna be done with this car for today. Gonna show you guys a project I've been talking about where we got the mouth for the other day. Picked up a bunch of K parts. It's time to show you guys what that's gonna be. This project's gonna be pretty easy. Pretty much just gotta drop everything in, wire it up, and hopefully turnkey is just gonna start. But anyways, here's the mounts and the sub harness that we picked up from Brian Gillespie over at Hasport. Thanks again. Here's the coupe that we're gonna be doing, 98 Honda Civic DX, bone stock body, never being accidents. Pretty mid condition considering nowadays they're hard to find, but my homie G Vision, he had a bunch of shitters at his house and he's always asked me my opinion on what he should do. My opinion is always get rid of that shit box you got, get a clean shell and we'll start from there. So I had one sitting around. If you've seen previous video on G Vision's YouTube, he had a green 9295 coupe that he was gonna do B series in. We scrapped that whole thing. It was wrecked in the back, not gonna use it. Wanna start with a clean chassis, then we'll go from there. So this is it. This is his new chassis now. This is what we're gonna be building. He's got a K24 for it. Got the Hasbro mounts, conversion harness, got a clutch. He's got uh, pretty much almost everything for it. We'll just need a few fuel lines for it. Who knows, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I'll show you the parts for it right now. As you can see, bone stock chassis, picked up that car about a year ago from Simi Valley, California. It's originally from California, just has like small bits, a little surface rust, nothing major, but uh, it's gonna be a perfect donor car for do a swap on. This is the long block for K24 TSX long block from H Motors. I've been personally dealing with H Motors for 17 plus years. The homie G Vision picked it up. We're gonna be trying to take this to Eibach. My bad, formerly known as Eibach. Now it's called the Honda Meet West Coast. It's gonna be May 22nd at Lake Elsinore. I haven't been there since 2016, so it's gonna be tight to see old homies catch up and have a little bit of fun. So this is the car we're gonna be doing, the swap that we're gonna be doing just to have some fun with. Help out the homie since he helps me out with YouTube videos. All right, so for the project that we got that we're trying to get a run for Eibach, no guarantees. We're trying to get this done, just something fun, you know, just go out to California, have some fun with the homies. But anyways, K24 long block from H Motors. Got the action clutch, six puck clutch, sprung clutch with light and flywheel. Got a sub harness from Hasport. Got the EKK2 mounts. We will be running the EG subframe with this. All new Downstar hardware for all the subframe. Got the Downstar rear LCAs right here that are going to be going on the car. Got the ride wire engine harness, new OEM oil filter. We got the works on the Downstar hardware, all titanium with the gold zinc. 
everything for the whole motor. Gabe just went insane on this thing. He got everything that Downstar has, the whole catalog. Also some other stuff that we got for the car, insane shafts, axles. We got the uh, insane shafts, mid shaft. We got lots of stuff pretty much. Hush, the Hush shifter uh, uses a DA shifter with the plate that mounts it in. They use the OEM shifter cables. Overall, it's gonna be a pretty clean build. Try to get it done for Eibach, that's about two months away now I think we can get it done so we also got brake line tuck we got GSR rear disc conversion for it new tires and wheels it's gonna be a nice car clean build it's been a while just something fun for the streets that's gonna be it for today we're gonna go hang out with the homie Ahmed check out his Integra that's gonna be on a future episode this is a car that I used to own in the past probably when I was 20 years old he ended up with it years later I helped him shave the bay and do some random stuff so we're gonna go meet up with the homie now Check it out, say what's up, see what he's up to now. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. Please, I'm not trying to beg you, but it's not that hard. Just help a homie out, thanks.